Okay, I'm gonna do a video here showing you what I got going inside of here. Um, last night I didn't put a lot of wood in there, so it's burned down pretty low, but that's normally how you start out in the morning um, with some coals in there. Those are hot. If I throw more wood in there, it'll fire right up. I'm actually gonna pull those out and set them aside, clean all this out, and show you what's going on inside of there. Um, be back in just a minute when I get those out. Okay, I've got all this cleaned out now. Let's see if I can, and it's hot in here, so I got my gloves on. Um, right back there, if you can see that, that's the secondary burn uh, air injection. Basically right there at the back, the bottom, that hole right there. Uh, that's where the secondary air comes in. Um, the primary air, uh, you can't really see it, but it's basically right behind here, just injects right into the right into that area. That's where the primary burn goes in. Um, if you can see, I got fire bricks all along the bottom, up the sides, on the top, all around there. Um, uh, so it's all insulated that way. Now you're probably wondering what separates the primary and secondary burn. Well, I just uh, I ended up just doing this with fire bricks and made it really easy to separate and uh, keep, keep things apart. Let me put those in there and you can kind of see how they go. Um, so I put one fire brick right over top of that. And that is to keep, I don't want all the ashes and charcoal to land right on top of that air. Okay, then I put some more starting right up against this side here, right up against the back. You add a couple more and then you kind of get an idea of what's going on here. These are still very hot. Okay, so there you go. Now you see they're kind of separated. That, uh, that one down in there is below it. And then the only thing left I actually need to probably make this a little bit sturdier. It's been bent a little bit, but then I put that grate right over top of there to keep any large chunks out. Um, and uh, that basically forces all this primary burn down through that area where uh, more air is injected in and it comes out through this tunnel right here and uh, down both sides. As, it ex as the exhaust goes out. But that's where the secondary burn is, and uh, hopefully that, uh, that gives a little bit more understanding to what I'm doing here. That's been working pretty good um, uh, with all that insulated fire brick and whatnot. The secondary burn gets going pretty quick. Um, I do have to clean this out about once a week. I usually let it burn down more than what you saw earlier so that I don't have as many hot coals to clean out, but it's actually pretty easy. I just uh, pull out any coals that I have, set them aside, um, pull all those bricks out, everything falls down, and I scrape it out the, the front door, just right out through here into a bucket and throw it away. Um, anyway, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Okay, and there it all is, uh, filled back up again. Put those coals, hot coals back in there. You can see they're already heating back up. I gotta get this door shut or it's gonna actually catch this on fire. Anyway, that's the amount of wood I put in there. And uh, that will last when it's really cold. Um, I have to fill it up about that much twice a day. Once in the morning, once at night. Um, right now it's not super cold. When I'm talking really cold, it's like negative 15 at night up to about five to ten degrees Fahrenheit during the day um, right now it's uh, it's getting down around zero at night and um, 20 degrees during the day this type of temperature I'll probably only have to fill this I'll put I'll top it off with a couple of logs probably tonight it'll probably do a burn sometime between now and tonight it's, it's actually uh, about eight o'clock in the morning right now so uh, and the water temperature is actually down to where it's almost ready to kick on. So it's going to kick on again pretty soon. Do a burn. Uh, probably only do one burn today because it's not that cold. I won't be using a lot of heat. 
a lot of water. Um, so I'll have to put a couple logs on tonight. That'll last all night. Morning it'll probably be, it usually does more burns during the night because it's colder. So morning it'll be down, probably not as low as it was uh, when I took the video at the beginning of this, but uh, I won't, so I probably want to put this much wood in, but uh, probably close. Um, anyway, thanks for watching.